Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 275. Welcome. Okay, so let's see. What do I have to show you for this week? Um, I have three works in progress that I've been working on, and I have one finished object, but it's not a yarny project. It's a diamond painting project, but I'll go ahead and show you since I have been showing my projects here lately um, with the diamond painting work that I've been doing. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do that. My finished object uh, is the Christmas wreath diamond painting that I've been working on. I've finished it, so there it is. Now, I haven't put the lights in it. I did notice that there's these little tiny holes that are going all the way around the edge, okay? And so I believe that's where I am supposed to put the, um, the light, I didn't bring it in here, but it's a light package because it's got like some fiber optic wires that go to it and I think it goes into those little holes. So uh, I haven't tried that one out, that out yet because I have to, um, I haven't sealed it. Okay, so I need to go ahead and put the sealant on it and then uh, let that dry and then I will go ahead and put the hanging chain on it and all that. So when I get all that completed, then I'll, I'll show it to you again. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, there is the diamond painting project. I think the next project I'm going to work on is the little fidget spinner that, they, that the company One Day Saving sent me. Um, I think it's going to be cool. So I think I'll, I'll do that one next. Okay. Now let's on to yarny stuff. Okay, so for my works in progress, I'm still working on the Infinity Knot Throw, and this is a pattern that came from Mary Maximum. Talked about it last week. Uh, it's four big squares that you you make, and then you sew the four squares together, and then you have your throw. And um, here is a picture of one of the squares. It makes this really cool turnaround thing. <laughs> and uh, so the the color the color that I'm using it uses DK weight yarn. Now I did get this as a kit. But I used the yarn that it came with. I used it for something else. And so I still had the pattern that I had never uh, made. I'll show you the front. You really can't tell from this picture on the flyer or whatever. Not flyer, but the pattern. See what it's supposed to look like. Um, but like I said, I used the yarn for something else. And so I, I do know that it calls for... Uh, number three weight yarn and uh so i just picked out some three weight yarn in my stash and i thought that it would be it would look good with a self striping and so i picked out uh lion brand mandala here's a full cake had three full cakes of this it's not mandala it's lion brand cupcake and is in the colorway happy dance so there's all the colors okay so last week i showed you this one this is one of the com my first completed square i see how it has a split right there i just have to sew that seam up i haven't done it yet but anyway so there was the first one and then i just and that took um well it took about uh, maybe three fourths of the cake, maybe something, something like that. Anyway, I just uh, started with the on the next square. I started where I left off on the cake, and so I started working on that. Uh, I ended up uh, finishing that piece of a cake, and then uh, going into my next cake. Like I said, I had three full cakes of this to work with. Um, and so here is the next square. I'm almost finished with it. I have like four I think four more rows I think that's what something like that and then I'll be finished so here's what this one is looking like and as you can see yeah you can see it's just beginning to turn green so I think the green let me show you my cake here see so it's I'm going into this green and I have like I said four more rows I don't know if it'll get into the blue or not to finish that four because that's quite a bit of yarn right there um anyway so when i was looking at it so here's one and see it left off with the white i got just a little bit of a, of white there and then it turned into that next color uh, i don't know if i'm that crazy about this color um i'm kind of wishing i would have just pulled out all the well i was kind of like i was okay I was kind of wishing that I would pull out that color because it just didn't seem like it goes with the rest of these colors, you know. But I was afraid that that I wouldn't have enough yardage as far as getting the getting all four squares done. 
but now that I've kind of see how much it's using up, um, I don't know, I may change my mind about that. But see, I'll kind of show you if I can hold them up together or kind of next to each other. Let's see if I can hold them up here. <laughs> see, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to pull back, well, not pull it, another one. No, and I had to unravel all of it and then start like in the yellow part, start there and then just cut, take out this color. It's kind of a, it's kind of a gray, kind of a brownish, grayish sort of color. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know. It's just that the, if I did that, then it would, of course, get into the, the green and the blue, I'm thinking, um, to have some more of the same colors, you know, as what this square had. Um, I don't know if I want to do that or not. <laughs> I just, I don't know. We'll see. I'm trying to decide. I'm looking at myself in the camera there because I'm trying to think what, you know, trying to decide if I like the way that's looking or not. But I like the pattern. It's it's uh, fun. Once you get the hang of what it's doing, and if you, you take uh, stitch markers and you mark, you, there's three different corners that you need to mark because the corners of each round is worked in the corner, you know, of the previous round. So you have to make sure you get corners in those right, uh, get the corner worked in the right stitch. In other words, <laughs> besides that, it's a two round repeat. Um, it's it's fun. I like it. It's a fun pattern. It's going to be really soft, I think. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I get real ambitious. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll rip it out. And Well, you know what I could do? Since I've got this finished, I could weigh this one and then um, weigh the rest and see if I have enough for four uh, where I could take out the, that, that color. This one, this color, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Either that or, or I could maybe use some of that color, but uh, not so much of it. You know, I could use some of it, you know, like take this out and then start later on in the cake to get some of it. That way I would get more of the green and the blue maybe on the edges. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, um, Still wondering about that. Okay, so that's works in progress number one. I did quite a bit on that, getting that square done. It's like I said, it's kind of you get on a roll doing it, and then you're like, oh, let's work to the next color. That's kind of what self striping yarn does to me because I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to finish that section because I want to get into the blue. Oh, no, well, I'll just finish that one so I can get to the white, you know. <laughs> and so it makes me want to do more of it. Okay, <laughs> so that was works in progress number one. Works in progress number two is something that I almost forgot about. So I've been doing the um, the um, <laughs> the Tunisian crochet along <laughs> uh, from Jada and Stitches. She's doing a square per month, and it's a different Tunisian stitch. And so I've totally forgot about September square, and I was like, "Oh no, the pad the tutorial's out already, and haven't started it." So. This past weekend, I got started on it. I'm back to using the Pixie Pop, which is the Premier Yarn Sweet Roll. I'm alternating each month. Well, anyway, so that's what I'm doing here. And so I've got that much on it. I don't know if you can tell what pattern, what it's doing or not. Not yet. Not until I get some more rows in there. But what it's going to be, it's, gonna, it's going to be a back, basket weave square. <laughs> and um, anyway, that's kind of what it's looking like. I don't know if you can tell or not. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, so that's all I've done. I don't even know how many rows that is. I have to do 32 rows. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. And then when I do the return on the, these loops that are on there already, that will make uh, row six finished. So I have a ways to go yet to get to 32. But anyway, that's the work in progress. <laughs> and so work in progress number three is I got my new assignment for my next uh, Feel Better Friend doll. And so I started on that. Another boy doll. <laughs> I was hoping, I was kind of hoping I was going to get a girl, a girl this time. Um, but I didn't. It's another boy, which is fine. And so, so far, all I've done is his arms. 
that's it. And so, uh, but I've got the yarn pulled out. Um, now I'm, I'm going to have to figure out about the t-shirt because the uh, t-shirts I have that was been, was, have been using, it's not, I don't think it's going to fit this particular doll because the little boy has a, um, he has scoliosis. And so he has like a body cast, I guess, or it's a cast that like goes around his trunk area. And they're wanting me to, um, include that, uh, on the doll. And so I do have a pattern to make that, uh, but it's going to make his, uh, make him bigger around, you know? And so I don't think the t-shirts that I've been using that, that I've been using is the 14 and a half inch doll t-shirts that I got off of Amazon. And then I was also gifted some by a sweet viewer. Um, I don't think that one's going to fit. So I was thinking maybe if I get an 18 inch, which is the American doll, American, American doll. No, what do you call it? I can't even remember. Uh, it's escaping me. You can tell that I don't have girls because I don't remember. American girl doll. Is that what it's called? <laughs> it's the 18 inch doll. Well, I found, um, I ordered an 18 inch doll t-shirt off of Amazon and I'm hoping that one will fit, uh, around that, the, the doll with that cast on, um, I think maybe it'll be okay. I'm hoping. If it's too big other places, I can always maybe sew up some of the seams a little or something. I, I don't know. I'm going to try it <laughs> because uh, I really like the look of the regular t-shirt with the Velcro that opens down the back instead of crocheting um, just absolutely everything of the doll. So anyway, that is uh, works in progress number three, and that's all I've been working on. Um, I have been um, cleaning here lately. Um, well, like, okay, so I finished my tote bags, and so I this the craft room was horrible. I mean, it was a it, it was just a mess, <laughs> and so I've been trying to kind of um, um, clean up my fabrics and things that I was using for the tote bags because these are fall or autumn tote bags and so I was trying to get that organized and put back up so that way I can get ready to pull out my Christmas fabrics so I can make some Christmas bags um so I've been doing that kind of rearranging in here and oh my goodness I had so many threads on the floor from sewing I had to sweep <laughs> and um so I've been doing that and um just uh just household things this week. So I only worked on those three projects plus finishing up this diamond painting project. And um, that is it. So let's go on to new things or upcoming. So new things, uh, if you didn't see Tuesday's video two days ago, I'm starting a new series. Uh, instead of starting up Stitch Your Library again, I think what I'm going to be doing, because actually this Infinity Knot Throw is actually qualifies as a Stitch Your Library project because I've had the pattern for years. Uh, and so I think what I'm going to do is I'll maybe have a Stitch Your Library project going most of the time and I'll just uh, have it in my regular videos. I think I'll do that. Um, and then, but I, I do like to make two, you know, at least two videos per week. And so I was thinking on Tuesdays, I'll start this new series called Tuesdays, Tuesday Tidbits is what I was calling it. And so it'll have different, I mean, it'll be all be crochet related or crafting related, probably 99% crochet. I, I, I don't think I'd do anything else. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it'll be different things like maybe a certain technique, like how I crochet stripes or how I, you know, I don't know, do certain stitches, maybe like invisible decrease or maybe a tip on amigurumi or something. Um, or I, I might uh, review some new patterns or a new website that I have found. Or I'll do some shout outs to some new channels that have tutorials, you know, patterns like I did for uh, Fancy Llama. Um, and uh, maybe some hauls, maybe some uh, like tag questions that I find, you know, just things that I thought might be fun to watch and listen to while you're crocheting. And so we'll just have a little chat. If I don't, if I can't think of anything, then maybe I'll do a crochet and chat every once in a while. Uh, so I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be some fun videos. So uh, I will link the first episode of Tuesday Tidbits. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> Let me put it on silent. There you go. <laughs> um, 
first episode of Tuesday Tidbits was two days ago, so I will link that below in the description box. I did a roundup of all the preemie hats that I've been uh, making throughout the year. So I chose that for my subject for this week's Tuesday Tidbits. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> so now let's go on to upcoming. Well, upcoming is this Sunday. I'm going to be having a, I mean, I'm going to be posting a video or the video will come out. I'll do it ahead of time. But the video will come out with my latest uh, tote bags that I will have available for sale. And so uh, I, I mentioned it in Tuesday's video. So I will mention it in this video. And I will also uh, put a reminder in the Facebook group, Yarn Joy Podcast. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be uh, the, the, the video is going to be coming out 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on this Sunday, which is September 25th. Okay. And so... Um, be looking for that video if you're interested in in purchasing one of my uh, project slash tote bags and um i really appreciate it and uh, like i mentioned in on tuesday's video that i will accept payment through paypal and i'll just uh present the bags and then you just you can send me an email my email email is always down below in the description box you can send me an email uh after that video goes not live well after it come after it comes out <laughs> and uh, if you're interested in any of the bags and you can just let me know which bag you are uh, interested in and then it'll be first come first serve I'll answer you back and let you know yes uh, uh, you're the first one to ask for that particular bag so yes it's the bag is yours <laughs> and so it'll be the cost of the bag and uh, plus shipping and the shipping uh, I had mentioned before it's been about eight to nine dollars something like that that's what it was um, with my last bag sale and I'm thinking these bags weigh about the same and they're the same type of design uh, so I think think that's kind of what the shipping would kind of give you an idea of what it would be that's for the continental United States. Um, of course, it would be more if it was not in the continental United States. Anyway, so Sunday, check out that video, September 25th at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so that is upcoming. What else is upcoming? Uh, somebody had asked me to do a demonstration on the diamond painting because they wasn't quite sure understood what I was talking about as far as using the wax and the toolkit. And so they were wanting a little demonstration on that. So I will try to um, make a short little tutorial uh, as soon as I can, <laughs> um, about that. And of course I will put in the title what, you know, that it is a diamond painting tutorial. So for those that are not interested in diamond painting, which I know some have, some have told me that they're not <laughs> in the comments. So if you're not interested in diamond painting, those particular tutorials will just be for that. And it won't be, it won't be uh, yarn, yarn related. And so that way you just, don't have to watch it if if it's something that doesn't um doesn't interest you <laughs> so anyway um that that is coming up um and what else uh, i do want to do the i had mentioned before a tutorial on on crocheting the little yarn spirations dinosaur the striped dinosaur 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 <laughs> Um, and so that tutorial is coming up too. I'm going to try to get that started. Uh, I've been, you know, trying to get the tote bags finished up this past week and get those prepared to, um, sell them. So, uh, now that they are pretty much, I mean, they're, the sewing is done. I do need to do last minute little pressing and stuff, uh, to, and then film the video showing them. Uh, so now that that is coming to an end, then, uh, I will, um, try to look in my notes try to um start working on that dinosaur uh crochet dinosaur tutorial <laughs> okay um yes i think that is it so thanks so much for um uh watching today oh no no i forgot i forgot i'm sorry let me get my phone is not on silent sorry about that okay now it is <laughs> um so okay um, weight loss journey. I forgot to mention it last week, but I think I had put a notation somewhere that I did not, or I think it was in the community tab. Anyway, 
Last week's weight loss, I did not gain anything, but I did not lose anything. Stayed the same. Okay, so this week, though, <laughs> um, I weighed this morning, and I've, I'm down one more pound. So, yay, I'm so glad for that. So, I was able to uh, put another sticker right there on my sheet, these cute little dolphins. I'm using these Lisa Frank stickers that I got at Dollar Tree a long time ago. Haven't ever seen them again. I was at one. It was the one package of stickers and I have never seen any of them again but that's the ones I've been using from my little sheet here so now I am up to 15.2 <laughs> I have a cushion <laughs> so 15.2 pounds lost so oh, I'm so happy about that <laughs> okay so I think that is it now Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and follow me along on all my projects and, and just come by for a visit. Um, I really appreciate it. I love interacting with through the comments with all of you all. All of you all. <laughs> and then if you're on Facebook, come over and check out Yarn Joy Podcast, our Facebook group. Um, so... Uh, we would love to have you over there as well. Okay, now I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you on Sunday for the bag sale. So, see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>